Hello again, it's Rob Waddington, your friendly neighbourhood fly fisher. Here I am in my uh, fishing cabin, shed, <laughs> my man cave, which I have part of my B&B &B on the lakeside here, so you can come and fish with me and stay with me as well if you want. Uh, we're doing some fly tying again today. Uh, now then, have you heard of the killer shrimp, the Grafham killer shrimp? Actually, shrimps are a very big part of a trout's diet. There's shrimps all over the weed beds out there. There's shrimps in rivers, in lakes. I'm going to show you how to tie one. Okay, well, I've got a curved hook. It's a, it's a heavy bronze grub hook. You can buy these anywhere. I've got a size 8 here, so you can see what I'm doing. Probably a size 10 would be a bit more uh, accurate. But some of those shrimps on Grafham are this size, believe me. So... We're going, to, we're going to tie it. Now, first of all, tie the thread in. I'm just using black thread. I don't think it matters too much. And I'm going to tie the thread over itself like we do, all the way down the body, in touching turns, as they say, all the way down to the end. Snap this off go a bit further now then I'm going to tie the, we're going to have a back on the shrimp like like the shell and for that I'm going to use a bit of a plastic bag this is going to be a clear back on the back of the sh shrimp here but tell you what's good for these those little coin bags you get the, the red ones and the green ones they're, they're quite good for this but I'm just going to use the clear one for now I'm going to if you can see what I'm doing here Gonna cut a little strip out of this bit of plastic. Simple as that. And I'm gonna lay that back down on the back down the back there. Bit fiddly to get it flat anyway. There. Press it down, pinch it down tight, and bind it in. Right round the bend, because it's a curved little insect, isn't it? Now then, we're going to put the body on. I'm going to get a sort of a fluffy body. I'm going to dub some brown synthetic seals fur, and then I'm going to put a, a palm or a hackle around it to create the legs. So let's tie the hackle in to start with. Got a Greenwell's hackle here. Don't need all of it. I'm going to tie it in thin end first. So that the hackle fibres then get bigger and bigger as we get to the top there. This is a really simple fly. So that's the hackle tied in ready to use later. I think what I'll do is actually put some bit of weight on this. If you're fishing these on the rivers, the shrimps are near the bottom. Um, the Grafham shrimps are quite light, so we don't put any weight on the Grafham shrimps. But if I'm going to put a bit of lead around the edge, around in the body here. Got a bit of lead wire here, come in these coils. I'm just going to break a bit off and tie that in. I'm going to wrap that round. Let's go back around again. That's going to make a real good plop when we cast it out. <laughs> Tie that end in there. Just going to bit of, put a bit of super glue on there just to keep that all in one place. That's a nice heavy body there uh, to get that shrimp down. I'm going to put the body on now. I'm going to dub some synthetic seals fur. Got my trusty block of wax. Rub it on the thread quite quickly and the friction of that will melt it onto the wax there. Done. Get a little pinch of this stuff here. 
dub the body, twist it on, twist it on the thread. Very light seals for it, kind of shimmers in the water. Any little movement of the water will move it. And obviously we don't get real seals fur anymore, but this is next best thing. Nice and light dubbing. Let's twist that on. Just creates a sort of really shaggy, scruffy body. Now then, the hackle goes on. We're going to wrap this hackle round. This is going to look like the legs, hopefully, when we're finished. We're going to go round the body. Open turns. To the head. Tie that off. Just looks like a scruffy dry fly, but look, watch what we do when we pull this over. Pull that over the, the back there, and it starts to look like a shrimp, doesn't it? Look at that. I don't know about starts to look like a shrimp, it is a shrimp. bit of mayonnaise, seafood sauce on there, beautiful. <laughs> a bit of head on there. And you can you can alter this, you can use maybe a little bit of bright head or a green bit of flash or something red in the middle or you could rib it with a bit of pearl. Anything you can do with these flies. Who's to say that the, the proper textbook tie-in is the correct one? The fish don't know, do they? I'm just going to tie that off. Bit of super glue to finish that off. you want to eat it that's a lovely little shrimp okay that's a that's a really simply tied shrimp fly it's on a curved grub hook it's got a clear bit of plastic bag on this top to, to look like the shell you'd want to eat that wouldn't you i would and i'm sure the trout would too